Hello guys, welcome to my very first review. The first game I am going to review obviously is Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. I played it on the PS4 for those of you who wanted to know. I rate games from a scale out of 0 to 10 because I find it just simple and to the point but I will be talking about story, gameplay and design. First off the story. You wake up from a coma after losing mother base and being blown out of the sky in a helicopter. You make your way out of the hospital only to be chased by a man on fire. You are helped by a man in bandages and oscillate who helps you escape. Then you sent then you are sent to go rescue Miller in Afghanistan. I won't go much more into detail so I won't spoil anything for you guys. After Miller, you will rebuild yet another mother base and there you will expand your bases. Back in the field you do missions and side ups. So I was honestly disappointed throughout the whole game coming from a Kojima title. The ending was a nice surprise, but I won't spoil that. For me, Metal Gear Solid is one of my favorite series because of the story which is very in-depth and the characters are easy to love and care about. I know there was a scandal going on with Hideo Kojima and Konami at the time of development so it's not certain if this affected the game and the story. MGS is known for having long cutscenes which never bothered me but I always saw people poking fun f at it for being too long. I guess Kojima took that criticism into consideration. I know you can't please everyone but it was such a staple in the franchise that it would be a sin to change it in my opinion. I felt like some of the characters didn't get enough screen time also. Like Ocelot for example which was actually really cool in the little scenes he came out. I would have loved to see more of him but it just didn't happen. I noticed that instead of having coded conversations you would just listen to tapes while doing side ups or, or being at mother base. I wouldn't recommend listening to them while you're on a mission because sometimes Ocelot or Miller will talk to you and it interrupts what you are currently listening to. The gameplay was of course fantastic. I absolutely loved the way Big Boss controls everything from crawling to running felt very fluid and nice. One thing I can't I can complain about is that it felt like I never wanted to use vehicles because they handled so poorly. You're better off using D-Horse or D-Walker. After a while I got annoyed that side ops would only spawn about 4 missions while visiting either Africa or Afghanistan which made the game longer than it should have been. My biggest gripe is that I felt like I was never I was doing tedious things over and over like having to rescue soldiers or clearing mine areas for example. I felt like it was just getting more and more hours out of me instead of me getting them from the game. Which what's the fun in doing things when you're barely rewarded for it and it takes an hour to do four missions, four side up missions. I know it's Kojima's first world open game, sorry, first open world game, but I am honestly burnt out on open world games. I loved them when I was younger, but they are getting ridiculously long. I was playing Witcher 3 before I but I hated the fact they had me running around to talk to someone then to just go back. I always running into somebody else and never finishing my initial quest. I'm scared that this is going to happen with Fallout 4 because I'm a big fan but I miss my linear games that didn't take 200 hours to fully complete. The sound is amazing. I'm <laughs> sorry I went off topic but back to the review. The sound is amazing in this game, all the guns sound really good and so do the vehicles like the helicopter, the tanks. As far as how I rank the series, I have to say MGS1 is on the PS1 is still my favorite because it introduced me to the series and was the whole reason why I got a PlayStation to begin with. Second would be MGS4, then MGS2, and last, no sorry, MGS3, and then last MGS5. Yes, I placed Part 2 over 3. I loved Raiden and how he became a real kick ass dude in part 4. Like I said earlier, I just like Solid Snake over Big Boss. So after complete, completing the game by doing all 50 missions and doing well over 120 side op missions, I give Metal Gear Solid 5 a Phantom Pain a 7 out of 10. I hope y'all enjoyed my review. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.